Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and on today's video, we're going to be crushing up some brass shell casings. Here's our hopper full of shells, and it's going to self feed from our vibrating feeder down there up onto this conveyor belt. The shells will fall off the end of this conveyor down into our 24 by 16 HD hammer mill. It's got a half inch by four inch slotted screen in it so the material will be crushed down to half inch or three eighths minus when it falls through the hammer mill it'll fall out the bottom onto this flat conveyor it'll be carried up under this cross belt magnet any ferrous material will fall into the green bin there and the crushed shells will come up this conveyor into this red barrel. All right guys, so let's take a look at this barrel of what we got. And as you can see from the video, they all got pretty well mashed up and dinged up. And there are a few that come through that 
you know, don't get rolled up into balls. Here's actually a good example. But my understanding is as long as they're, they're dinged or mushroomed or mashed so they can't be refired, um, that's, that's good. That's what these guys want. All right, so here's our uh, steel bin. This is the stuff the cross belt magnet pulled off. Um, and there's, there's uh, a very little bit in here. It didn't pull off much, but some of these shells have little uh, steel firing pins here and they get sucked up in the magnet. Um, but I just wanted to show you real quick the, the stuff that got pulled out by the magnet. All right, here's a handful of the stuff that uh, our magnet pulled out. So I'm just gonna, for demonstration, put it up there and you can see all those shells pull up onto the magnet. So they all have some sort of steel in them. So there's a couple reasons why we're crushing up these bullet shells. Um, and this is all for large recycling companies that have uh, thousands or millions of pounds of these things and they gotta get rid of them. And one of, the, one of the requirements is that the, the shells need to be destroyed. So when they export them for recycling, they can't be reused or reloaded. And uh, the other requirement is the recyclers overseas want to make sure that there's no live rounds in there. So when they go through the hammer mill, the hammer mill impacts them and any live rounds that are in there actually go off. And I don't know if we caught any on the video. But you could hear them. There was probably half a dozen rounds that would go off here and, and uh, in the hammer mill when they got hit. So um, those are the two reasons why the shells need to be crushed and destroyed for recycling purposes. We started with 500 pounds of shells in our hopper and so far we've run about half of them. We have a client coming tomorrow so we're going to save some. But we've run about half which is 250 pounds and it took us uh, about 10 to 15 minutes. So we figure our throughput's about 1,000 pounds an hour. So this is just one of several different recycling lines that we sell. So if you're a recycler or a scrapyard and you're interested in any of the equipment you saw here today or maybe have another application that you're looking to uh, implement with our machinery, please give us a call or send us an email. You can find our information in the description below. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video.